Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRux SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2012. The CozyRock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the SharePoint source component, which you can use to integrate or migrate data from the SharePoint service. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. In CozyRock's SSIS Plus product, we provide source and destination components for SharePoint, which support both 32-bit and 64-bit modes. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to copy the list of customers over from SharePoint to an Excel spreadsheet. I'll show you two different ways to configure the package. One is good for simple transfers when you don't need to do anything fancy. The other method uses Collaborative Application Markup Language, or CAMEL, and is good for handling more complex operations, such as filtering and ordering of items in the list. First, we'll take a look at the simple method, which uses the input view parameter. First, we'll set up our connection managers. So we click on New Connection, and we scroll down until we find the SharePoint Connection Manager from Cozy Rock. And we'll choose Deployment of Online, and we'll type in the URL of our server. And I'll type in my username and password. And then I'll test the connection, and it's good. So we're done configuring that. Now we'll set up our Excel Plus Connection Manager. And we point it at the Excel file that will receive the results, and it tests out good. So we're done with that. Now I'll scroll down to find the SharePoint Source Component from Cozy Rock. And I drag it onto the canvas. And I'll change the name to something meaningful. And we go in to configure it. And I choose the connection manager that I just set up for SharePoint. And we go to Component Properties. And for the input list, I choose Customers. And for input view, I'm going to choose Diane's demo. And we take a look at the column mappings, and it includes every one of the columns associated with a customer. And I want to remove a couple of those columns because my customers are all consumers. They're not companies. So I'll remove the web page column, and I'll also remove the company name column. So first, I remove them from the external columns. And now I need to remove those same columns from the output columns. And now we're done configuring the SharePoint source component. Now I'll use the Excel Destination Plus component to receive the results of getting the list of customers. And I'll go in to configure that. And all we need to do is choose the Excel Connection Manager that I set up earlier and choose the worksheet. And uh, we look at the columns, and it includes all of them except for the two that we removed. So we're done configuring that, and we'll save the package, and we're ready to execute. And we have success, so we'll stop debugging. And we'll take a quick look at the execution results, and everything looks good. So we'll go take a look at the list of customers in our Excel spreadsheet. 
And there you can see the list of all of our customers. And there you can see the state in which each customer is located, and we'll be working with that in the next segment of the video. I'm going to show you how to use the collaborative application markup language to retrieve only customers from the state of Nevada and order the list based on when the record was created. In order to do this, we're going to be using the input query parameter of the SharePoint source component. I've set up the same two connection managers as I set up in the previous demonstration. And this time we're going to configure the SharePoint source component to only get customers who are located in Nevada. So we point it to the connection manager for SharePoint. And we go to component properties and we'll configure the input list to use customers. And now we'll go in and set up our input query. This makes it pretty easy to configure your input query. And we set up our filter based on work state, and if that's equal to Nevada. And then we're going to also order the records based on when they were created. In this case, we only have one customer from Nevada, so it really won't make a difference. But I wanted to show you how to do that. And again, we'll be using Excel for our destination, so we'll use Cozy Rocks Excel Destination Plus again. And we'll go in and configure it, so we set up the Connection Manager again and choose the worksheet. And that's all we need to do here. So we'll save our package and we're ready to execute. And it was successful, so we'll stop debugging. Take a quick look at the results, and everything looks good. And here are the results in our spreadsheet. And you can see we only have one customer here named Oliver Overlord, and he is in Nevada. In this demonstration, I showed you how easy it is to copy the list of customers over from SharePoint to an Excel spreadsheet. I showed you two different ways to configure the package. First, I used the input view parameter to copy all the customers in a list, and then I used the input query parameter to create a collaborative application markup language query that selectively copied customers from a list and ordered them. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.